All right, YouTubers, I told you I was going to make an update video once I got a hold of the information. So, after spending weeks on the phone and nobody called me back and blah, 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 I finally got a hold of a senior technician who told me, hey, lean the machine down on its face, and this book is taped up in a bag up inside the machine. So, lo and behold, I had the information the whole time, but... Apparently, people are too stupid to to uh, to know that. All right, so, and I want to start this off also saying that this, what I'm going to show you is not going to help you get free, you know, get your laundry washed for free. So if you think you're going to watch this and there's a secret code to wash your clothes for free, just go ahead and shut it off now. It's, it's not going to happen. So, problem we had before. All the lights were on steady. No matter what you did, it wouldn't work. So I'm going to show you all how to go into diagnostic mode. Okay, you got to start in the normal position. Okay, let me go left, right, right, left, right. All right, now you see we're, we're ready. It's ready for input, ready for us to tell it what we want to know. Okay, now these are all the different things you can do by toggling the selector. We just want to do fault code display mode. Okay, uh, then you got your quick overview. Calibration, I think I went over that last time. Uh, sales demo mode, I don't really know. Um, you know, a lot of these I haven't tried uh, just because, well, I did the clean washer cycle one time. Um, but I didn't need them, so didn't try them now. So let's go... We want to know why did the machine locked up. We need to go into vault, fault code display mode, okay? So that's the first one on the list. So that's going to be your first toggle, okay? There you go. There's a toggle cycle. See the duns lit up? All right. That's what we need to be in. We'll hit start. All right. Now this is the beginning of the diagnostic mode. This is kind of like an old OBD1 type thing. You know, it flashes once. And flashes the other part. See what I'm saying? Get over here, people. So, um, to toggle to the different codes, obviously it's another another a switch. So, boom. So we got just one light right there. Sensing load. Okay. Now this is all the. Let's see. That's all the testing. Okay, here we go. Fault code errors. All right. So we got right now no faults. Okay, that's the light that's on. Everything else is off. Okay, now if there's multiple codes, it holds up the four codes in memory. So you would just toggle back again. All right, same thing again. No codes and no codes. So that would make four. Oh, uh, maybe that's four. All right, now this is we're back at the beginning. Okay. Shh. <clears throat> so, but this is um, this is very it's it's good because um, this has been helping me find out that uh, people have been overloading the uh, the washing machine, and the reason why I know they're overloading is because let's see which one was I always getting there long fill overflow no fill I think what I was getting was a um, motor unable to reach target RPM so I was getting you know, those flashing first and then those second. Okay. And see, uh, the mechanical basket, weak motor run capacitor, load off balance. So basically, you know, then at this point, it says you can go to page 14 to test the, um, the drive motor. Because every single thing on here, of course, you got to, you got to exit this menu and go back to you can actually test every component of this system individually you can test the hot cold fill valves you can spin 
or test low speed agitation, high speed agitation, low speed spin, high speed spin, the pump uh, drain motor. All of this is um, you can check it uh, individually. Um, so uh, if anybody needs me to, to to do another video or maybe I could put in the comments, um, you know, exactly what you have to do. But this book should be in your machine. Mine, like I said, I laid the machine down on its face. It was up in a plastic bag up way towards the top. I had to reach in there and grab it. Um, so there it is. Um, lots of uh, lots of things you can test with these machines. Um, and this is what you got to do if you have one of these machines. And instead of calling the technician out, you know, go and and the diagnose or the code display mode and look up exactly what what it's doing. Um, and then you can also do things like you know a factory diagnostic cycle, which is um, by a factory diagnostic mode right there. So after you do the initial thing and get it in there, instead of going to one, um, you can go down to this one and get just that light lit up, which is your uh, soak wash light. Um, and then hit start and it'll run through a full top to bottom diagnostic. Um, and then if it's if there's any problems, it'll store a trouble code in there. And then you go back to your main menu and run your uh, fault code display mode. And then you can pull out what the problem is, what's not working. And then if you want to, you can. Um, there's a lot of. Uh, you can manually test things, like I said. Let me just try to quick overview of test mode, um, lid lock, uh, cold valve actuate, shifter moves to agitation position, agitate, train pump, motor spins. So like I said, if, if any of y'all need uh, more steps on how to get to those things, let me know now. Uh, how you exit this is just hold down your start button. And then you're you're done. It's ready to start washing clothes again. If you want to go back, there's not like a there's not a back button. You know what I'm saying? Once you're in a menu and you want to do something else, you have to completely exit and then do the whole left, right, right, left, right, and start over from the beginning again. But it's no big deal. And uh, hopefully this saves y'all. A bunch of aggravation that I had to go through. Um, like I said, I call Whirlpool. They sent me to a company called CoinOp, um, which is, you know, I guess who does the programming for this or whatever. It has to do with the coin mechanism. And they kept just giving me the run around, the flip flop, the send me here, send me there, talk to this person. Finally, somebody was kind enough to just say, hey, the book is in your machine, tells you how to do all of this. So there it is. Um, there's the update. Hope it helps you guys.